We saw President Trump meeting with victims and first responders in Las Vegas Wednesday. He offered words of consolation, quiet on the issue of gun control, but on Capitol Hill, more talk of banning those bump stocks that the gunman used to turn his rifles into machine guns. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega has more on all that from Las Vegas. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good, mo good morning to you. This gun control debate may be growing louder on Capitol Hill, but this is not something the president is willing to answer questions on, at least not yet. He says gun laws in this country is a conversation we will have at a later time. The president tweeting out this video of his trip to Las Vegas, a visit to the hospital set to music. President Trump and the First Lady meeting survivors and their families, posing for photos along the way, and greeting first responders who rush to help. I have to tell you, it makes you very proud to be an American when you see the job that they've done. The president offering a message of unity. In the depths of horror, we will always find hope in the men and women who risk their lives for ours. The mass murder that took place on Sunday night fills America's heart with grief. But there was one topic he did not address. The president is a of a gun, gun violence problem. We're not going to talk about that today. The debate over gun control hitting Capitol Hill. How many more must die? A hundred? A thousand? Ten thousand? A million? What is your blood price? At the center of the debate now, those bump stocks, attachments that allow semi-automatic rifles to fire hundreds of rounds per minute. The Las Vegas gunman had 12 rifles modified with these attachments. A top Senate Democrat now introducing a bill that would ban their sale and possession. Some have said we shouldn't do this now. We should wait. Now is not the time. Ladies and gentlemen, when is the time going to be there? So it's not just Democrats now, a growing number of Republicans say they are at least open to the idea of holding hearings on these bump stocks. A number of members of Congress admit that they'd never even heard of these bump stock attachments before, with one Republican saying he didn't know there was such a thing. And George, there's no reason for it. And, and Susie, the president's been pretty quiet on this, but any sense from the White House that this is something the president could sign on to? Well, George, if, if uh, talking points that the White House has distributed to its allies in Washington are any indication, uh, no, bump stocks are not mentioned in these uh, talking points. Instead, they say new laws won't stop a madman. On another front, Cecilia, yesterday we saw those reports that the Secretary of State threatened to resign this summer, called the president a moron in a private meeting. The White House and the Secretary of State pushing back on that. Yeah, George, real strong pushback on this one from inside the administration and from President Trump himself. He was asked here in Las Vegas whether he has confidence in his Secretary of State. He says, I had total confidence in him, total confidence. He said it twice. Okay.